I have created the chore wheel. Oh yeah, can I spin first? Well, it doesn't spin. We'll just move the wheel one notch each morning and you see what chore you get that day. Boring. All she talks about is chores. A wheel wants to spin, Pam. Spinning would be more fun. Chore. Routine task or the everyday work around a house. A piece of work that is often boring or unpleasant, but needs to be done regularly. Such as cleaning, washing, or ironing. Examples. Easy. Oh, so sad. Look at all those burnt cakes. What happened here? Just a little mishap. I was so tired from cleaning that bathroom earlier that I laid my head down for five minutes and ended up falling asleep. Oh, such a shame. Mishap. An unlucky accident or a small mistake that does not have very serious results, but pretty unpleasant anyway. Ex I, I succeeded. <laughs> Rachel, could you come in here a moment, please? Yeah, sure. Um, they didn't have poppy seed bagels, so I have sesame one. Oh, my word. <laughs> I seem to have had a slight office mishap. <laughs> When Brie Vandekamp decided to stop drinking, her recipe for sobriety was the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. She admitted she was powerless over alcohol. She asked God to remove her shortcomings. Shortcoming, a failure to reach a particular standard, typically in a person's character, a plan, or a system. A defect in condition or ability. Example. You're at all worried about working with me. No, I'm not. Because whatever my shortcomings last time, I intend for things to go perfectly from here on out. So, if there is... Gail, you're great. Seriously. However you like things to be done is exactly how we're going to do them. Listen, Ross is too nice to say anything, but this is his apartment, and, and we, we, we gotta have some boundaries. So, so why don't you just go back to your place and, and give us some privacy? But, Mona, I, I live here. <laughs> Boundary. A real or imagined line that marks the edge or limit of something. The limit of what someone considers to be acceptable behavior. Example. <laughs> Look, honey, you don't have to do this, okay? It's the strength you have inside that means the most to me. I mean, you're loyal and you're honest and, and you have integrity. That's the kind of strength that I want in the man that I love. That means nothing to me. <laughs> strength, the ability to do things that need a lot of physical or mental effort. The quality or state of being strong. Examples. I guess we'll just bring it up ourselves. I hardly think so. Why not? Well, we don't have a dolly or lifting belts or any measurable upper body strength. <laughs> we don't need strength. We're physicists. We are the intellectual descendants of Archimedes. Give me a fulcrum and a lever and I can move the earth. It's just a matter of, I don't have this. I don't have this. You I do not have this. We've got movies. It's time to party. It's being black bad. We're black. Are we going to get in trouble like daddy? OK, girls, there's something called prejudice, which comes from the Latin words pre, or before, and judicium, which means to judge. Are you with me so far? No. No. Prejudice, unreasonable opinion or feeling, especially when formed without enough thought or knowledge. For example, people can be prejudiced against someone else of a different ethnicity, gender, or religion. Examples. So? I've been thinking about this whole college thing. I'm going to Columbia. Okay. Oh, well, maybe it's just my old prejudice speaking, but, um, Yale. Yale only accepted me because of my grandfather. I don't want to owe him or my family anything. What did you do to him? Nothing. To, no, he tortured me with his awfulness. Thanks to Toby, I have a very strong prejudice against human resources. I believe that the department is a breeding ground for monsters. What I fail to consider, though, is that not all monsters are bad. I want to keep playing. More challenges. Fine. You want another challenge? More challenges. More challenges. Fine. Here's your challenge. 
go down to the pharmacy and buy some diapers and uh, get me a samosa from the Indian place. Sounds like an errand. While picking up a girl. Challenge accepted! Errand. A short trip you make to do something, such as buying or delivering things. A quick trip to accomplish a specific purpose. Examples. Where are you going? Ugh, a ton of errands to run. I need to make copies of my headshot, send them off to agents, and uh, sign up for a new acting class. And... Mm, have fun. Okay. Irene hired me as her live-in helper. We met at the store launch. I told her I was moving here and I needed a place, and it just sort of made sense. I basically do everything for her. I run errands, I do chores around the house, I cook and clean. Honestly, I don't know how she survived without me. If you really care that much, there are apps now that'll let you hire people to do stuff like errands and wait in lines. People are actually waiting in lines as a job? Boy, it makes me feel better about my life. <laughs> Why do you even want to marry me? You know, family in India and stuff. <laughs> well, how is that different than what you're doing? Hmm? Worried that you wasted so many years dating the wrong people and now you're just looking for a shortcut. Shortcut. An alternative way or route that is shorter than the sum unusually taken. A quicker way of doing something in order to save time or effort. Examples. So it's true? You really did this? It was years ago, and I was going through a very hard time. What hard time? I had to write a thesis, and I wasn't smart enough to do it. <laughs> you realize my name is attached here. As if this gets out, it ruins me too. It's not gonna get out. Oh, you know what? Linda was right. You're always looking for shortcuts. <clears throat> Six. Yeah. All right. All right, race to the next hole. Ooh, winner gets 10 bucks. Wait, wait for me. And shortcut, shortcut. I fell in the sand trap. You complained the whole time. You yelled at me. You tried to break into the machine. Oh, what? You're a real problem. You know that? Hey, you can't just change the rules because you don't like the outcome. Outcome. The result or effect of an activity, action, situation, event, or process. Examples. I love you, buddy, but there is absolutely no way that you could pull off blonde. Yeah, it, it just wouldn't look right. Yeah, seriously, Ted, don't go blonde. I'm going blonde. No that is way. not the outcome we were hoping for. If you flip a coin, it will tell you how you actually feel, because you'll either be disappointed or excited by the outcome. Interesting. So, heads, it's PS4, tails, it's Xbox One. All right, I'll try. What is it? A quarter. <laughs> what you doing? What does it look like? I am cleaning. Did you get Monica's authorization to move all of her stuff? <laughs> authorization? I don't need that. I'm going to put everything back. Put it back exactly where you found it? Yes, I'm going to put it back exactly where I found it. <laughs> Okay, first of all, that attitude is not helping. Attitude. The way you feel or think about something or someone. Especially when this shows in your behavior. Examples. Please. Even assuming you could answer any question the way I would, the algorithms used by matchmaking sites are complete hokum. And that's exactly the answer we gave to the question, what is your attitude towards online dating? Well, Howard wanted to write mumbo jumbo, but I said no. Our Sheldon would say... Welcome. <laughs> Why are you so dressed up? Oh, um, Mike's picking me up for a date. You know, I, I really admire your, your whole dating attitude. It's so healthy. I'm always like, is this moving too fast? Is this moving too slow? Where, where is this going? Yeah, you know, you are a bit of a drama queen. <laughs> I have created the chore wheel. There's something called prejudice. It's the strength you have inside that means the most to me. You know what, Linda was right. You're always looking for shortcuts. I run errands. I do chores around the house. I really admire your, your whole dating attitude.